Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build your own tools inside of Fusion, inside of DaVinci Resolve. So without any further ado, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future Resolve tutorials from me, and let's jump into the video. Here we are on the cut page where your resolve will probably open to. From here, we're going to navigate down to this magic wand right here. Click on that and that'll bring us to the fusion page inside of resolve. So now that we're in fusion, what we're going to be making today is an opacity node. I actually got this idea from a different video while I was looking for this because I needed one and there isn't one built in. So we can check this out by hitting shift spacebar and then typing opacity. And right here, you can see that I do have an opacity tool, but if you try this, you probably don't it's because we need to build it from scratch. So what we're gonna do is make a background node and a merge node. We need to make sure that the yellow line is feeding into our merge node so that our media in, wherever that is, can come into this and be on the foreground. So all we need to do for this is run our merge into our media out You'll see that it's just black because we have our background feeding in. In order to illustrate this properly, we do need to have some sort of something as the foreground. So we'll do text. We'll run our text through our merge and we will type text. And now if we grab our merge and we grab this blend control right here, text goes away. But we have all these controls, we don't want to find blend every time, and we would like this to just be a tool so we don't have to build it from scratch. And you can do this with really anything that you do often inside of Fusion. All you have to do is click and drag over these, right click on them, and the text we're not going to worry about because we figure somebody will add their own. Unless you're trying to make just an opaque text, then you would include this. But for just the tool, we only need the merge and the background. So we'll mouse over those, right click, come up to macro right here beneath group and go create macro and then we'll name this opacity and then we have all of these checkboxes over here now each one of these are a parameter that you can adjust with the things going on in your selection so we have the output from merge number one you can see merge number one right there which is this little rectangle and that is gonna be something that we definitely want to keep because it's going to be what we need to put out into our media out when we're using our tool. And then also our foreground is already checked, which is good because we will need the ability to add a foreground with that little green triangle right there. But other than that, the only thing we need is this blend control right here. So right here where it says blend, make sure that's checked call it opacity, go ahead and press close. It will say save changes to macro tool number one. You'll say yes, because we've already named it. I already have one, obviously, but you can go ahead and just hit save right there. And then maybe not right away, you might have to actually relaunch resolve in order to get this going correctly. But once you have it refreshed, just go ahead and type in opacity, go ahead and add it. And now we have this nice little opacity node that we can just add right into this line. So we'll run it through there, boom, we have our text. And now the only control we have with our opacity node is blend, so we can bring that down and we can bring that back up. It's a pretty cool thing, a very fast video this week, but this is a really important and if you can't find opacity and you need it and you're in fusion, this is going to save the day for you. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. If you learned something, make sure you subscribe because I put out new videos every single Thursday at 9 a.m. If you have any questions still, go ahead and ask them down in the comments below. I do my best to answer as many of them as I can. This has been how to make an opacity node inside of Fusion, and I will see you next week.